Ladies and gentlemen, you know, one thing I'm glad to see, and I sure hope they keep the momentum going, is the people in Texas are saying they absolutely will not forgive for the shooting of a Tatiana Jefferson, the woman that was shot by a police in the back of her house on Saturday. You know, it was just so many things wrong when you watched the video. The cop did not identify himself. He parked a block away. That's why you did not see the police squad car out in front of the house. And he really should have just pulled in front of the house where the flashing lights would have been easily identifiable. But this cop parked a, a whole block away and walked around to the location, saw the door open, bypassed the front door where it was well lit, by the way. It, you know, not only was the door open, but it was very well lit. You know, and that door could have been open for many reasons. You just don't know. You know, when my grandfather was still living on my dad's side. He had Alzheimer's and it was not unusual for him to walk out in the middle of the night and the door would be open because he would leave the house. He would go wandering. So you don't know what the circumstances were. That's why the cop should have been more inclined to find out what was going on there could have been a very understandable reason why that door was opened at 2.30 a.m. So this came out in USA Today, ladies and gentlemen, and they're saying no forgiveness for this one. Texas police face backlash after shooting, killing a Tatiana Jefferson in her home. Boy, I hope you folks in Texas don't lose the momentum. So this is October 13th, 2019. And you can see the cop in the window. And there is actually um, a close-up shot out there that LVZ actually shared with me. And I did see it um, prior to, you know, and after viewing the video. And you can see her image staring back at the cop in the window. And... You can see she looks surprised. You know, somebody is shining a light through her window and aiming a gun at her. Yeah, she looks surprised. And while he was saying, put your hands up, he shot her at the same time as he was saying it. So he, he didn't give her a chance. They claim this officer whose name they will not identify, but I'm sure he'll be identified soon. Um was on the police force in Fort Worth for 18 months. I knew something was wrong when I saw how he was so eager to get around the house. I was like, something ain't right. Just his whole demeanor was off, in my opinion. When you just saw him approach the house, he sees the door wide open, won't go to the door, but went darting around the house it was just something really off about this cop's policing. You know, he used absolutely no common sense when he came onto that property. He he did nothing right. He did absolutely nothing right. Community activists and the family of a black woman fatally shot by police in her Fort Worth home after playing video games with her nephew are expressing outrage and demanding justice. You know, I thought the thumb John shooting was bad. This one, in my opinion, was even worse. And I, I didn't think these fools could make anything worse, but they've managed to make a situation worse. The shooting early Saturday of uh, Tatiana Jefferson comes less than two weeks after the former Dallas police officer Amber Geiger was convicted of murdering Botham John, a black man fatally shot in 2018 as he ate ice cream in his apartment.
the police released almost two minutes of body camera video of a Fort Worth uh, shooting that shows officers armed with guns and flashlights circling the home. The video ends with an officer shooting, put your hands up, show me your hands before the sound of one gunshot. And he said he shot immediately after he said it. So he didn't give her a chance to raise her hand or do anything. It was just bad policing all the way around. Jefferson 28 was shot through a window. And why? Why? You, you didn't even make the effort to identify who the residents were in the house. You, you didn't even make an effort. And y'all stop believing that these cops are scared. They are not scared. They are just using that I feared for my life phrase just to get away with shooting and killing one of us. That's the only reason why that phrase is being used. They ain't scared of nothing. It is just a way of getting out of murder. That's all. They've mastered the phrase. So ladies and gentlemen, my thing is to you, please, in Texas, don't change this momentum, y'all, that you got going. You got a good momentum going. Stay with it. Stay with it. Please don't let the people come to the forefront talking all that forgiveness stuff. That is hurting us as a community. It's not helping. Maybe those folks mean well, but they are not the voice of the Black community and should never be the voice of the Black community. I'm sorry, Christians, you're going to have to take a humble step back. We don't need your voices of forgiveness for murder. It's the wrong message to put out there. It's another one of those situations where people are supposed to protect us and are actually not here to protect us, said Jefferson's sister, Amber Carr. Did you see the similarities here? Botham and Joshua Brown, 28, right? Would be 28 today if they would be alive. And a Tatiana, 28. And her sister, Amber. And we got Amber Geiger. I mean, these things are just, this is eerie. This is just so eerie when you see the similarities. Both of them and a Tatiana, both people that were shot in their own homes. It is so eerie. It really is. Now, her sister Amber Carr said, you know, you want to see justice, but justice don't bring my sister back. You're right about that. Amber, I sure hope you don't start talking all that forgiveness stuff. I really do. So this was a welfare call because a neighbor across the street by the name of James Smith saw the neighbor's door open and he just wanted the cops to do a non-emergency welfare call to the house just to make sure that the family was okay when he spotted the door open. So, you know, he said he did see the police go over there and he heard the shots, you know, but at the time he did not think anybody was killed. And then later found out that someone was indeed killed. So, Ladies and gentlemen, if you observe anybody that has a garage door open or a front door open, it's best to either go over there and let them know or <laughs> go over there and let them know or try to find some way. I, even if you're afraid, stick a note in the door, do something, but don't call the cops. I would stick a note in the door before I call the police. I, I really would. I wouldn't call no cops, you know, and I have done that before. I had a neighbor uh, cross the street from me and I noticed for hours 
the garage door was up, but you didn't see anybody walking around the house. And I went over and told them and they didn't even know the garage door was up. So they thanked me and put the garage door down. You know, and that actually happened to me before. I had mine up and um, somebody came over and said, you know, where your doors, I said, no, I got it. And, you know, and I thanked them. And that was years ago. I haven't done it recently, but years ago, I mean, those things happen. You know, those things, those things will happen occasionally. Just like sometimes people will leave a window up that they didn't intend to leave up. Those things happen. So if you're going to be observant like that with your neighbors, try to approach them and just let them know. They may have forgotten that a door was left open. It could have been open for hours. You just noticed it at 2 a.m., but that door could have actually been open for the past several hours. You know, I don't know what the temperatures are like in Texas, you know, and sometimes people just like to air their houses out and they'll have the door open. But y'all, please tell me what you think. You know, I just pray for this family and I pray they don't get on this I forgive you bandwagon that has really harmed us as a community. It has not helped. And all you're doing is making people believe that no matter what they do, there's going to be forgiveness and prayer and and stop giving your prayer to your enemies. Okay, don't give them your prayers. They haven't done anything to deserve prayers from us. So stop doing that. Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.